for the natural gardener, pest control might sound kind of a frightening task. After all, you're committed to not using harmful chemicals in your garden, yet these chemicals can get obvious pests quickly and simply. There are still some ways you'll take hold of your garden without resorting to chemical treatments. Natural pest control is really quite easy. We certainly understand that tons of gardeners become anxious once they see pests on their plants and wish to react decisively once they see their plants damaged. But we must remind you of the central principle of organic gardening, growing plants consonant with nature. And insects, even people who eat your plants, are an important part of that system. Once you see insects in your garden, take a short time to truly watch what they are doing. Are they really destroying the plant or simply nibbling it a bit? Many plants can outgrow minor damage. Also, in many cases, insects attack stressed plants. Does one have enough healthy plants to spare the sickly ones? Are you able to restore sickly plants to robust health so as that they will resist insect attack? The simplest defenses against insect attack are preventative measures. Grow plants suited to the location and they'll be less stressed. Don't allow them to be too wet, too dry or too shaded. Design a various garden, so as that pests of a selected plant won't decimate a whole section of the garden. Healthy soil will naturally produce plants that are immune to insects and disease, but pests are an area of gardening. There are other ways you'll control pests naturally. Sprays and powders There are a variety of natural botanical sprays and powders available in garden centers. These are derived from plants and not made during a lab. We'll check out a couple of the more common ones available to you. Insecticidal soap is sodium or potassium salts combined with fatty acids. If you employ soap, it must are available direct contact with the insect and it must be wet. It's not effective once it's dried. The fatty acids within the soap penetrate the insect's outer covering and cause the cells to collapse. This is often one among the safest organic pesticides to use because there's no residue, it's non-toxic to animals, and you'll use it on your vegetables all the high to reap. Take care, however, soap can burn or stress plants, so don't use it fully sun or high temperatures. Bacteria spray is additionally commonly referred to as Bt bacillus thuringiensis. There are quite 80 sorts of Bt used as pesticides. It's a stomach poison that releases toxins within the stomachs of insects that causes them to prevent eating and starve to death. It's generally available in powdered form that's sprinkled or dusted on a plant. It must be eaten by the targeted insect. Bt strains are very host specific and may not harm people, pets, birds or bees, but it are often very slow acting taking days for the insect to completely stop eating and die. It can also kill variety of the beneficial insects in your garden. Neem could also be a sprig that's derived from the seed kernels of the neem fruit. It's sprayed onto the plant's leaves which can upset the insect's hormonal system and prevent it from developing to its mature stage. Neem is best on immature insects and species that undergo complete metamorphosis. Use caution with neem because it are often damaging the pets, so keep them far away from freshly sprayed leaves until the liquid dries. Neem is non-toxic to humans. Horticultural oil is very refined petroleum oil that's mixed with water and sprayed onto foliage. It coats and suffocates insects or disrupts their feeding. There's a coffee toxicity to humans, pets, and birds and doesn't leave behind any toxic residue. Take care you don't burn the leaves of your plants once you use this oil. Retinone and Perethrum are most readily available ones and are often utilized in combination. They are derived from the roots of tropical legumes. It generally comes in powder form that's dusted onto the plant. These will inhibit the cellular process thus depriving insects of oxygen in their tissue cells. This is often a broad spectrum pesticide and may be used with many sorts of pests. If you're employing a spray, dilute it in water and use only as required. Of course, follow application directions on the label. The simplest time to use sprays and powders is within the evening or in early morning and always read the labels of anything you purchase commercially. Simply because a pesticide is organic doesn't mean it isn't toxic. You don't need to use anything on your plants if you depend upon other animals to assist you control pests. 